Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can start Django project in Visual Studio Code and also how you can start it with um, virtual environments. So one thing first, um, first, please make sure you have installed Python on your machine and also in your Visual Studio Code, install a Python extension and probably Django um, Code snippet extension. So if you have done that, so I'm not, I'm not going to touch that in this video. Make sure you have installed Python. Make sure you have in your Visual Studio Code also install in this marketplace search python extension and install them so if you have done that um click on this terminal and create a new terminal so i want to create a new terminal first thing i want to we have i have to create a folder a root folder for my project there are two ways in which you can do it you can just create it um let's say visually or graphically by just going to your desktop and create it but no i don't want to use that i want to use my command to create the folder so i want to create this folder in my desktop so i want to see it into desktop so currently with this i'm currently in my desktop yeah so yeah i'm just going to create one of these commands make directory so i'm going to call this um the name of the folder let's just call it uh, let's say Django. Django. So currently I've created that folder. So now the next thing I have to cd into that folder. Cd into Django. So now I'm currently in that folder. So let me show you my desktop. So this is the folder that we create now, Django. So now I'm currently in this folder now. So first, before I create before i start my django project i want to create a virtual environment this is not compulsory but it's highly necessary to um create a virtual environment for your project especially if you are going to host that project or if you are building that project for um real purposes if you are hosting it on only online server so it is this is um required to create a virtual environment for it but if you are running it locally you don't really need it so to, to create a virtual environment, I'm just going to say python hyphen m like this, then vem emp. So run this command. So, so if you run this command, I'm going to create an eventual environment. So now I've created that virtual environment, but if you notice, we are not, um, we have not opened this directory with Visual Studio Code. So you can just, um, to open this Django directory, if you look at it, no folder open, that's what it's telling me. So to open it from here, I'm just going to call this command code, then put period. So what this is, uh, this code will open Visual Studio Code and this period means this current directory. So if you open, it's going to create a new window, open a new window for us with yeah so this is it now and this is our folder and this is our virtual environment that we created now the next thing for us now is to also activate our virtual environment but one thing is that um activating virtual environment is different on um, different machine i mean different computer so if you're on windows like me try to activate your virtual environment just click on this dot and go to this forward slash or is it backward slash forward slash let me call it forward slash then emb actually okay wait let me call it emb slash scripts then forward slash again activate now this is where it is a little bit confusing now here i'm using windows powershell as this is what my Visual Studio Code is using. So if I'm using Windows PowerShell, I'm just going to use dot. I'm going to add something else with dot ps1. But for example, if you're if you are not using Windows PowerShell, if you are using normal like command prompt cmd in Win or Windows, you don't need to add this dot ps1. So please check your computer or check your Visual Studio Code if you're on Windows. If you are seeing PowerShell here, add this dot ps1. 
if you are not seeing PowerShell, it's like CMD, just use activate like this. So I'm on, I'm using PowerShell as my terminal. Now I've activated my virtual environment. But if you're on if you're on Mac, look at uh, follow the command on the on or showing on your screen now to activate your virtual environment. So now we have activated our virtual environment. Now it's to start with installing Django. Although I've already installed Django before you, but you can also install Django by I uh, running this command pip install pip install Django. Is this virtual environment? So let me cancel this. My antivirus is giving me so I'm currently installing Django. So now we have successfully installed Django. Now it's to start our project. Now to start project on Django, so you type this command Django admin start project all together. What is the name of the project that you want to give it? Let's say, uh, let's call it my project. And put you can put period or it's not really necessary you may not put it but that period is also emphasizing that create this thing in this current directory oh sorry i didn't write my django very well it's ja i wrote django <laughs> so django so this antivirus is just So now I've started my Django project. This is it here. Yeah? So now after you have started your Django project, now we want to start up again. So here Python run this command python manage.py start app all together also and I'll just call it my app. So now this is the app that we create now my app and it has Django has um some built-in files that will come with come with your app and that will also come with your project so everything is already there so now one thing before we migrate before we run server you can run migrate run migrations rather so python managers py migrate is going to run all applied migrations so if you want my goods, that is when it's going to create this DBSQL like three is like a built-in database for Django. Then after that, you can just run server Python manage dot pi run server. So if I click on this, you should have Django welcome page. So this is Django 5.1, the current, the latest release of uh, Django released. So now, but now how can we just let me just quickly configure some small thing and print a low word there on our page. So now I'm going to open this my app. You see, we have views, test models. Although I'm, I'm just going to, I'm still going to create a video on this uh, explaining um, Django files, directories, and how you can just start up. But first, I just want to create a new file here. This file I'm calling it urls dot pi. Although 
there's a url in this my project also i'm sure you know it too so but in this app i have to create a new url there now this url that i create here i have to also put it in this my project urls the main url of my project here so i'm going to add another part here it's going to be an empty part like empty part like that then here i'm going to put include so include my app this is my app dot urls now here i'm just going to put include here then the next thing we need to do is come into our this is my project go to this settings the buy there's a place called that we have installed apps so in, inside this installed apps just put the name of your app there my app my app and save it then that is all for the basic configuration so here i'm just i just want to return an http response for a new one so i'll say from django.http import http response turn this like this oh sorry sorry then here i'm just saying i'm going to define let's say home request return http response i just want to return an hello word there hello world so now in this view you know this view is inside this my app so i just have to add to this my app url here so here also i'm just going to say from django dot urls imports path sorry and from dot views imports the view that i create the home this home i want to import it here sorry in this my app url import home then i'll say url patterns add a path there an empty path also and i'll call home so that's all so now if i go back to my website or my browser i should have a new world displayed sorry so i have a new world so thank you for watching this video so that is how you can start your django project yeah, with virtual environment in vs code so please subscribe to this channel and like this video thank you very much